Hello Techers, Liam here. It's now spooky season, which means it's a good time to suggest a scary game for you to play on Steam Deck. So I'm here to suggest My Friendly Neighbourhood, a game that nicely blends spooky stuff with a good sprinkle of comedy as well. I was actually sent a key to this by the PR team at Uber Strategist quite a while ago and it somehow sort of fell down my inbox and I really wished it didn't because it's such great fun. It's so unexpectedly good and I just had to do a little video to get more of you to go and take a look. My Friendly Neighbourhood is Steam Deck verified with the latest Proton 8 and it does work quite nicely. It's a very different sort of scary horror game as well, which is good for me because, for lack of a better word right now, I am what you might call a big wuss. I'm being deadly serious, games that aren't even supposed to be scary often make me jump. I can play anything, and if I'm not expecting something and say someone just appears round a corner, I'll probably jump out of my skin. I am quite well known for throwing my mouse across my desk when playing games on PC when I get scared, but thankfully I haven't thrown my Steam Deck in hurry yet, but it's bound to happen one day. Anyway, getting a bit sidetracked there, My Friendly Neighbourhood is set in a world full of puppets, where everyone's apparent favourite Saturday morning puppet show got shut down. At least until it started broadcasting everywhere, so you get sent in to deal with it and shut down the transmitter. However, something is really wrong with these puppets, and they're a little bit freaky, a bit handsy, and they definitely don't like you. But they're still puppets after all, how bad can it be? Well, pretty bad as it turns out. The developers basically say, if you're tired of games that rely on gore more than actual scares, then this is something for you. Now while it is part survival game, there's a whole lot more to it as well. There's various puzzles that you will need to solve, so you'll be doing a lot of running around and hunting for items and keys to unlock more doors to then find more items and resources to allow you to continue surviving. This is a game you're going to want to save often when you can as well, and you have to find special save points, because getting knocked out by these puppets can be quite a setback. So make sure you stock up on coins you find, because those coins are used to save the game, and there's heal stations that take coins as well, although you can pick up healing items as well. Now not only is it Steam Deck verified, but it's still being updated as well. Just recently, they actually launched an update adding in what they call a neighbor horde mode. And in this new mode, you fight off hordes of puppets against the clock to get the best possible score and just survive as long as possible. Now on Steam Deck, one issue I did have was with an external controller, the 8-bit doll ultimate. I couldn't actually bring up the menu, it just didn't work properly. But that was not a problem with an Xbox controller, or playing directly on the Steam Deck. It's a bit odd, but some games just don't do well with certain controllers. I also turned the shadows down one level to low, which bumps the performance up quite a bit, and some areas will be a smooth 60 frames a second with that, others around 40 frames a second, but overall, even with the defaults, it is playable and it feels very good. Apart from that, no other changes on a stock Steam Deck with SteamOS 3.5 preview. It did give a really good experience. And overall, it's a really good game and one that you really don't want spoiled too much if you're going to pick it up. If you're after something spooky for spooky season, something that is a little bit funny and has some puzzles, it's definitely one that you need to go and check out. But that's it for this Steam Deck highlight. I'll see you later.